With temperatures continuing to climb, Pikeville Fire Department will be functioning as a dedicated cooling station for downtown Pikeville until Sunday, August 27th. Anyone feeling overwhelmed by the heat is welcome to use the facility for air conditioning and cold water. If necessary, additional cooling station dates could be added in the future. You're welcome if you're overheated or you're feeling the effects of the heat, just need a place to cool down, you're welcome to stop by. It'll be the, uh, again, the building at the upper parking lot uh, behind station one. And that will be open during the hours of 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, all the way up until August 27th, Sunday, August 27th. Just a good opportunity if anyone needs to cool down, if they're in town, uh, this is a good location because you know, we're relatively close to most things downtown and you're welcome to stop by. And if it's not during one of those hours, you're welcome to stop by the station. Uh, we can offer you water to let you cool down. So. Are you ready for a new school year? What better way to start a new school year off right than with a new device on the network that keeps our students and teachers connected? Appalachian Wireless. Whether you need a new smartphone, wearable, or an iPad, we have your back-to-school solution. Visit AppalachianWireless.com or go into one of our 26 retail locations for our back-to-school deals that'll help you show up and show out this school year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat can lead to heat exhaustion. Symptoms to watch for include nausea, disorientation, fatigue, and lack of sweat production. Someone may have been out in the heat for an extended period of time. They'll start feeling some of those signs, which would be uh, fatigue, um, maybe nausea, confusion, a little bit of disorientation, weakness. Um, obviously, they'll be uh, profusely sweating, so they'll, have, they'll still be sweating to try to cool themselves down. Uh, we want to watch out for all those signs and symptoms as well and if we start feeling any of those uh, to obviously get out of the heat and cool off and hydrate especially if you know you're going to be out in the heat for an extended period of time go ahead and prehydrate and make sure that you're prepared for that. So, Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.